Welcome back. And now on to a story that we highlighted on a little bit earlier on is that uh, finding by former uh, judge of the Constitutional Court, Yvonne Mukoro, who really made recommendations um, around uh, the Mukoro finding of, uh, of literally the NPA as well as two NPA officials in the form of Nungobo Jiba as well as Lawrence Mukwebi, who said that they aren't fit to hold office at the National Prosecuting Authority. It was that finding, it was that recommendation that uh, Judge Mukoro actually made. So now to get reaction action response from this very same judgment. I'm joined now by Freedom Under Law CEO Nicole Fritz. Nicole, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this afternoon. You were advocating or the organization were advocating for this moment in time since 2012. Tell us why. No, so we, we have certainly raised concerns as to the, uh, the fitness of Ms. Jiba mm. and Mr. Mpwebi to hold office in the National Prosecuting Authority. That relates uh, to, to actions that were taken in withdrawing charges against Richard Ndluli, who was the head of crime, uh, crime intelligence. Uh, we believed and have been vindicated uh, in our views that, uh, that uh, the withdrawal of those prosecutions was uh, not proper, that it was unlawful, and that they were doing this in order to protect um, Mr. Mtluli. Those findings, scathing court findings, in respect of their Ms. Jiba and Mr. Mkwebi's actions, in respect of withdrawing uh, the charges against Ms. Ms. Mdluli form part of the report that has now been um, disseminated, that was given to our president, um, Sir Ramaphosa, uh, now at the end of March. Um, and there were other scathing court findings, uh, for instance, relating to the actions in respect of the prosecution of Johan Boysen, um, that, that for us self-evidently rendered them not fit and proper to hold office. Um, and the highest office within so important an institution as the National Prosecuting Authority. And now, obviously, to, uh, today we, the, the, the report, the abridged version of the report, has been made public, yeah. and we know that there have been these findings that confirm uh, findings that have already been made by courts uh, that, that not only put into question their fitness and propriety, but in fact hold that they are not fit um, that they do not have the sufficient propriety, propriety, they lack the integrity and the conscientiousness that is required of senior public officials within so important an institution as the NPA. Yeah. Well, this is senior public officials, but unfortunately in this case it's taken seven years to get to this point. Uh, why do you think this is a drawn out time to actually get them to a point of accountability really, um, and also as per the findings of by Judge Yvonne Mukhara, looking at uh, their fitness as well, saying that they're absolutely not fit to even be in that position that you're speaking to? Right. So. Uh, I think the reason that it's taken this long is that they enjoyed protection of the highest political actors and that they in fact were there pursuing an, a, an agenda um, that was consistent with um, those who occupied the highest political office in our land. We sought and were pursuing court action mm. to bring about such an outcome and in fact had got various favor, favorable court outcomes, um, suggesting that this is the type of conduct that needed to be taken um, by the President. The President has the power in terms of our Constitution to appoint this Commission of Inquiry, and it required the um, appointment of Mr. Ramaphosa as our President in order for this action to be taken. And that is the reason why it's taken this length of time. What do you think is, or how do you think is going to actually impact the NPA going forward? And also, I mean, given the fact that it is supposed to be a respected institution, a respected institution where honest people are at the helm of it. And now when we're finding that individuals who were at the highest helm are actually found to be unfit to even be there in the first place, surely that says something about the confidence that even perhaps even South Africans will have um, in the institution and as, as a whole. No, well, I hope that this process will allow the public to have confidence, that confidence in this institution will be able to be rebuilt and restored. Mm -hmm. We know that there is a new um, there's a new head of the National Prosecuting Authority, Shamila Batoy, mm. that she was appoint appointed pursuant to an open and transparent process. She does seem to sort of befit the, the confidence that has been placed in her in heading this organization, although you know, she's, it's early days yet and, and it remains to be seen what, what is done. I think it's very important now and we await the President's decision. Obviously the report has been furnished to him, but he now needs to make a decision as to whether he will remove them. If um, Ms. Juba and Mr. Mkwebi are removed from the National Prosecuting Authority, I think what we will see is a removal of a very sinister um, debasing influence within the National Prosecuting Authority. And I think that will strengthen Ms. Batoy's hand in cleaning 
up the National Prosecuting Authority if that is what, is she, what she's minded to do. And so I very much hope that this process is one which will allow for the restoration of confidence in the National Prosecuting Authority and a return of integrity to the institution. What about a return of integrity into the justice system as a whole? Because uh, uh, these individuals are supposed to be prosecuted from the prosecuting authority and one would expect that, you know, that justice system is supposed to be upheld in this country. But we all know that it's come under fire and in question um, in recent years as well. So do you think that that will also change the mindset in terms of the effectiveness of our justice system? in this country? Well, I think that our justice system has been pretty, I mean, for the most part, our, our justice system, the judiciary, has found that the actions of Ms. Jiba and Mr. Mukwebi are not consistent with their roles and the confidence that has been placed in them. And that's why we've had these findings against them mm. on, the part of the, on the part of the courts. We haven't seen the political action pursuant to those court findings until the um, appointment of Mr. Ramaphosa as president of this, of this country. Um, but I think we do need a national prosecuting authority that is beyond reproach. Yeah. And I think that there is a big job to be done on that score.